Oh, hello. Ooh, love. Beloved hearts, violet flames. So grateful right now for my guides and your guides for bringing us all into alignment. There is the bridge. We're going to try to get as many of you to the safe side of the creek on your soul's journey as possible. We are going to have a beautiful discussion with Becky Lee, one of our, our most beloved soul sisters. You guys, see how the ether is opening up there? This is what we're going to talk about. I'm grateful for the metaphysical because this is the split. That is the split in which we're seeing. A wide chasm between an old earth and a new earth, my sisters and my brothers. You guys, we're going to bring Becky Lee in here in a second to talk about the energies that we are all experiencing right now. We're going to get in and get out. This is going to be a beautiful, quick conversation. We're going to do this and we're going to be organic. We're going to talk about some things. And Jeremy is missing some things here, so he's going to use his yoga pillow as a prop. And I can prop my phone up. <laughs> so, <laughs> life is what we make of it. Hello, Sarah. Hello, everyone. Hello, love teaching every one of you. We're going to bring Becky in here in a second, you guys. Um, and here comes Becky. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Tell me I need to rotate my phone to join. It's weird. I was all set up no, the I'm... other way, but I'll something to prop yeah, my we get a side by side whenever we do it this way. There we go. I can do it like this. I just have to find something else to prop my phone on. I had my selfie light set up and it's like it only allows my phone to go one way on it. So hello. Yeah. Hello everyone. So let's get into us. Let's take three deep sacred breaths and create sacred space around each and every one of my sisters and my brothers as we come together as one. Create sacred space around each one of you guys right now. Draw that divine crystalline source energy in. As we call on the book of life to bring forward our animals, totems, guides, sacred colors, and our protectors, those who are willing to assist us at this point in time to step forward, we humbly ask you to come forward together to assist us, to help bring healing and understanding to each and every one of my sisters and my brothers. Help deeply ground us with Ulu love to Mother Earth's hair space from the beginning of time. The inner child, the mature self, the higher self, divine masculine and feminine, divine feminine and masculine, our higher self, our mature self and our inner child to Mother Earth's heart space from the beginning of time. As above, so below, as below, so above, as within, so without, and as without, so within. My sisters and my brothers, I'm so grateful for you, Becky Lee. I'm so grateful for you too. I'm excited to talk today. Well, I love to talk. I love to talk. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that beautiful blessing coming in. Um, today has been a really awesome day. Like for me, it's been very energetically charged. We always say this. It's it's been it's been a roller coaster, and it's been really great. And I think that's just really what we're heading into in this. We're in the fourth quarter. We're in the fourth quarter of 2021 and the veil is thinning day by day. And we are just ready to catapult. We're ready to catapult. Mm -hmm. the, this energy, you know, what I've heard about, what I heard before we came in here, it's about this calm. We're all, of, we're supposed to calm our nervous systems down. And through our healing, through allowing things to happen and not fighting what's going on around us, we're, we're supposed to calm and not control. Just calm mm -hmm. and be in our consciousness and i know so many of us want to fight a cause and want to like take a side we need to learn that we don't have to do that just by centering ourselves in this energy that's taking a side whether we think so or not the the meek shall inherit the earth and by the meek i mean the people who remain calm those of us who can remain grounded in our energy and anchor more light in oh so beautifully sad you know, I was talking to a brother about um, when the pipelines were being protested and everything was like, if we want to get, you know, like strap my body to a pipeline, I'll defend Mother Earth. Look, my Mother Earth right now can defend herself perfectly well. And that, that through consciousness, by increasing our vibration, by staying away from the distortion, 
all will be well. We will shift others. Those who are meant to be eagles will be, and those who want to seek opposition and control. I'm not saying don't speak. I'm not saying don't follow your heart. There are many that are part of the purge that are meant to be truth speakers and to, to have those uncomfortable discussions. But to ask yourself this in your heart, is that is that your purpose? What is your purpose? You know, I, I feel that, and, and what Becky's saying is, now look, I, we can resolve all conflict by without even speaking. We're talking about fourth density of consciousness. Our hearts can communicate telepathy. So we are experiencing an enormous amount of energy. Becky, we're going, we have six more days before we get into the end of Mercury retrograde. And if I'm correct, Saturn just went what? Direct. It went direct yesterday, and I'm not an astrologer. And before I get into this, anybody who's watching, feel free to share this out to any spiritual groups that you're in. Let's get this message out. Um, tag any spiritual friends below. The more we can, the more we can get this out there, the more light we spread through our word. So feel free to do that. Share it. Comment. Tag. We would really appreciate that because it just helps spread the word and it helps get our word out there more. So. Yes, um, Saturn looked retrograde. And what Saturn is, the rings of Saturn are all about karma. Karmic retribution, karmic completion. When we're spinning on those rings of karma, I always use the hamster wheel analogy. It's like, are we going to stay in that wheel or are we going to choose to align with the next highest timeline? Saturn is such a beautiful energy. It's, you know, we're in this beautiful direct, we're back in this, this trajectory in in the libra season where it's all about balancing our relationships balancing the relationship with self others around us and just everything balance is everything in our world right now and like i said it's about owning our divinity it's about owning our power in a calm and you know i saw the comment about the zero point it's about neutrality neutrality is your new superpower so next time you feel triggered instead of lashing out externally go within and ask yourself, ask your higher self, what is this in me that I need to learn? I need to release, I need to heal so that I can be in a neutral alignment, cal calibrated state again. Yes, beautiful. I would also hitch a, a wagon to, your, to, to that love train and say that gratitude is also something to be grateful for each moment you're in, each moment that comes and each moment that passes. As there are a multitude of timelines, we are, 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 can choose at this point. Now, I want to say it like this, because Mercury is going coming back from retrograde. It's going to end on March or October 18th. Hugely important. We are all being asked, you guys, to meditate that day and alchemize and move dark, lower vibrational energies and entities off this earth plane. Transmute the energy, draw down the light, have soul tribes. Everybody's being asked to meditate, pray, and move and alchemize dark, low vibrational entities, energies, and entities off of Mother Earth, out of her heart space, around the world. Visualize drawing these energies around your, from her, that are attached to your sisters and brothers all around the Earth plane to bring healing as we will ask for forgiveness on the 18th of October. It is very, very powerful. And we are asking each and every one of you to share this message again, to hold space for Mother Earth, to help alchemize, to draw down that beautiful God source energy, the crystal, crystalline source energy, central sun, Ulu creator, however that looks to you, to draw that energy down, bring in the light, transmute it through the earth plane and around the earth plane and return it back to the source, creative source. That is what we are all being asked to do on the 18th. There's a sign in synchronicity on the 18th of October, you guys. So we have six days left. Now, Mercury retrograde really quick, and I'm going to turn it back over to you for your thoughts. It's, all, it's when a planet appears to be going stop and then go backwards. It is where the inner child and all these things start to come up where we feel like self-sabotaging again, yes, which was what Becky was referring to earlier about like getting in touch, getting in touch with your emotions, your feelings. Don't hold them back. Allow them to express. You know, per, do not purge your anger, resentments or frustration, but do not project them onto others. You know, to release that in a healthy way, to express, to don't hold the tears back, to alchemize. We are all going through an initiation period this week, you guys. For those of you that are choosing to do the in, the internal work, deal with your shadow side, you're all getting major psychic upgrades this week. I guarantee it. Becky, thoughts? The heart, the heart, third eye um, pulling together. So 
I want to just add into that. That was amazingly said. I love the retrogrades because it is, it's the appearance of the planet moving backwards. So it puts the pull on us, right? The pull to go within the pull. Don't go back. So what it's saying to us is don't go back into old patterns, old habits. If you feel yourself going back there, the awareness is your power. What I want to also add in like how we're purging this darkness, we also need to fall in love with the darkness because the darkness is never going to fully leave the planet. It's about loving the darkness and being okay with it because the darkness is actually not anything to be afraid of. As we have more collective consciousness rise up, more people rise up to this space of consciousness where we realize darkness is necessary. If we, if we transmute all the darkness, there's no light. Like it's, it's the polarity between the two that create the two and the brighter the planet gets, the brighter we get as beings, the darker the shadows get. We just have to learn to love them and love through them and send them compassion, especially the ones within ourselves because external darkness is just the same as our internal darkness. We all have, it's the yin and the yang. It's the dark and the light. It's the, it's the beauty within the beast, right? And we need, we, we can remove, we want to remove these attachments from ourselves, but it's through love. And like Jeremy said, through alchemization, which is love. That's what alchemization is. It's loving. It's loving, loving, loving. It's pulling into our hearts. And the more of us that do this, the brighter the light will shine. And we will not notice the darkness anymore. That's the beauty in it. Oh, it's so beautiful. And what were you talking about? There are dark agenda energies, if you will, that still want to keep us in control and fear. Okay. But what Becky's talking about is empowering the, the yes, this is a beautiful, I love this synchronicity. <laughs> what, what Becky's talking about is, 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 may, is feeding both wolves, where it's balanced, ulu love, where that's compassion, where there's balance between both energies, both before the, between the divine masculine and divine feminine energies. That this balancing point of the, of, the, of the shadow side. Shadow is beautiful. Shadow, if, it, if it's not addressed, it is very consuming. It lowers our vibration. But if it's empowered the shadow side to the point where it's awareness, it becomes beautiful because that's splendor. We can see the shadow in all things. It is the balance. And this is what brings us into balance. So this is very, very beautiful and very empowering. Now, many sisters and brothers are feeling. Now I want to talk about physical symptoms that I've kind of been going through. Last night I was reeling. Last night I was doing a live stream and I felt I had to get off it because I was feeling, and it was in my back and on the left side of my body, past lives and all these things, karmic energy, Saturn, right? And my stomach, I was doubled up. I literally was tossing and turning. I woke up in the flip-flop in my bed with my feet on the other end and I didn't know where the hell I was. I was reeling in so much pain last night and it was all in my solar plexus, guys. That, that we are experiencing a lot of transmutation. So there's a ton of ascension symptoms because on a collective energy level, we, for those who are not intentionally doing that work, the souls of light workers that are, that are choosing this path to hold life for others are, are alchemizing that for others. So you could be experiencing a lot of physical distress and, and know this, that this is not actually, not necessarily your physical body going through that. You're simply taking sympathy pains, if you will, of the shadow aspect of, of, of part of the collective consciousness. I wanted to share that. Guides told me to share that. So what are your thoughts about the MF? That's really important, you know, and it's true. Our solar plexus is our power center. It's our sun center, hence the solar. So we draw our personal power from there. So when we feel disempowered by darkness, by the pains that we see, the control we see in society, we will feel it in our solar plexus. And the one thing, I love that. I think it's beautiful. I saw a comment about how somebody was sick of all the control and fear going on in the world. The one thing I want to add to that is what we focus on will create more of. So through transmuting things, if we realize that we are, everything going on around us is an, is an illusion within our mind. And yes, there's always going to be garbage in the world. There's, unfortunately, it's just where we live. There's always going to be stuff that we don't like. It's not about ignoring and being like, no, that's not happening. It's about accepting things as they are. We have to accept things as they are and shift our consciousness. What are we focusing on on a day-to-day -day basis? Are we, what is our algorithm tuned to within our energy? What's showing up in our externals? Yes, I love that. And now I'm going to make a suggestion. Uh, Janice had a beautiful comment that said, boy, the symptoms are bad. Now, as far as mindfulness, if I were to offer guidance right now, I'm going to offer a bit of guidance. That it's not that it's bad. It is not negative. There is no such thing as bad, good, or indifferent, right? Okay. 
But if you, by, by when, when I, I can relate to this, Janice, because I would say to myself, oh, this is bad. And then I would hold myself in that vibration. I would manifest that that would be negative for me. So it would get worse. It would exacerbate that. Yet, when I talk about my ascension symptoms and what was going on with my solar plexus, what I was feeling last night, reeling like a hot dog on a, on a hot stove. I don't even know what that means. But anyway, moving on, I, I, I just acknowledge it. I, I acknowledge it and I and I have to say, I fell into gratitude. I said, thank you, spirit. I realized what we're doing here. Whatever it is we're doing, I'm grateful to be transmuting this energy. I understand that I'm healing right now. I'm grateful. And I spoke to the cells in my body. I spoke to, spoke to my abdomen and my chakras. And I said, I, I, I may physically feel very, it's physically painful. It was, but that's, but that's okay. Because, because any, every energy ebbs and flows. It's not going to be permanent. And I knew that. And I woke up feeling divine after that. So simply being aware and then having the gratitude for that experience is a real beautiful way to help you to get through that and alchemize it faster. Thoughts? <laughs> it puts you in that love state because gratitude is the pure essence of the heart. Gratitude and miracles are the vibrational frequency of your heart. And don't, don't get me wrong. Like I am all about love and light, but I am the girl who will push you so deep into your own shadows to shake them the fuck out of you, excuse my language, to shake them up because we need to do that. But I'm also love and light. You know, it's like, we, we are what we focus on. We are what we do. So like Jeremy said, if you're focusing on feeling bad, if you're focusing on all the shit going on around you, you're just gonna create more. <coughs> so when we're going through pains in our life, physical, mental, emotional, process them don't push them away we are so attuned to pushing our pain down and that's where a lot of us have stomach issues and solar plexus issues because when we push our pain away we're pushing them into the pit of our stomach into our three lower chakras and they stay there so we're, that's why a lot of us are feeling a lot of weirdness and uncomfortableness sorry uncom i don't even know what the word to use and discomfort in those lower areas of our body because we push things down our whole life we're trying to exercise these out of our body this what is going on right now we're going the veil is the thinnest at this time of year hence halloween it's about the spirits coming out good bad ugly and like jeremy said everything just is there is no good good or bad because that's polarity everything just is what it is we see what we choose to focus on we see where our vibrational frequency is it is about stepping out this is the push to step up and align with a higher timeline or to fall back and keep going on the same road we're going on or fall lower. <laughs> this is the push. This is so beautifully said. I'm grateful, so grateful. I, I, I absolutely love aligning with you and, and having these conversations. So another thing I, uh, that Spirit's suggesting me to suggest to the collective is this, that when you physically feel distressed, irritable, discontent, uncomfortable, okay, right? It's part of the dimension of the existence is a physical body. If you're sitting there saying, oh, I want this to be done. I want it to be done. I, want to, I don't want to feel like this anymore. It's one thing to say, call on like Archangel Raphael and say, send light angels to help heal me, to make this as gentle as possible. But we can't come from a place of force, guys. We, can, we don't want to obstruct the energy or they'll allow the time in which it takes to alchemize it. That's on spirit's time. On a linear time level, it's going to take a bit of energy or time in this dimension of existence in order to alchemize. And we must just simply be grateful and allow that and not wish it to come sooner than later, because now you're coming from a place of force. Now you're not, now you're saying I'm not willing to accept the fact that my body is healing right now. And I don't want it this way. And you're going against the divine universal will of the cosmos and which is in their in, in spirits time, if you will. And the Ulu Creator's time. So we simply find gratitude for this experience and we, we find peace in this and speak to yourselves. You can pray, you can ask your spirit to make it more gentle in the way in which they, in the way that it's meant for us, in the way that they seem is best for our higher selves, for our path, because, and allow that linear time to do its thing. It is a journey, not a race. Exactly. And when we're looking to like where we want to be, we're not surrendering to this moment. And this moment is really all that matters. And I know that's so cliche, but it's so true. And trust me, today I had to pull myself back into this now moment. I was having an emotionally difficult moment. I am human still. I am a spirit human existence. And I had to really ground myself and be like, 
this is ridiculous. This is my ego taking off down a path that I used to go down self-destructive and I pulled myself back and I had to meditate. And it's, it's a, sometimes it's a struggle, everybody watching this. Don't think that Jeremy and I can just float through this effortlessly. We still have our struggles in life. We are human. But remember, when you're feeling that, find the gratitude in the now. The one thing I always say is I, I'm safe right now. I have, you know, I think of all the things I'm grateful for. My bills are paid. I have a roof over my head. I, my belly is full. My kids are healthy. My kids are, you know, things like that. Little things that, those little things to be grateful for. You are fully supported right now in every step in your journey. You are whole and complete right now and in every step of your journey. And it's, it's magical when you start being able to pull yourself out. That is higher consciousness. That is what higher consciousness is. And, you know, Jeremy saying not force things. Power comes from within. True power. Force comes from external where you're like pushing. And we all know what happens when you push in water. That water comes back and mows you over. Beautiful analogy. That's the part of healing or when we're getting through ascension symptoms. To when you, if you don't want it to happen, yes, it, 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 it's it's going to happen at its own time. You cannot, you cannot, energy will move at its own, at its own creative pace. You know, I mean, it's, you're, and we're co-creating that process. So allow, be organic, be grateful. Now, one beautiful thing I want to say that I, that I, I'm really compelled to share this with is that so many people wonder when is the freaking bill going to get paid? Why am I still having my inner child arise? Why am I going through this? Why am I getting triggered? Why is this happening? Why am I still in this third dimension of existence? Okay, this is beautiful. Okay, so now here's the synchronicity. Spirit says, don't curse the darkness. Turn on a light and see it for what it is. <laughs> There's a reason that we will still remain in the dense energy of the 3D. Here's the reason. Because we are part of a beautiful crystalline energy grid and source of all this energy that is cosmic consciousness. That you here in the earth plane and the third dimension of existence is you will remain in this dimension, an aspect of your consciousness, your, your beingness, your mental body, all these things is going to remain in this dimension. Nobody goes poof. I'm some angelic being and I can transmute energy and I'll, I'll do whatever. I'm going to walk through this wall now. No, no, no. <clears throat> of course, we don't. We want to be mindful, not put labels on this or say that anything is not possible. I'll say that. But here's the thing. This is the way spirit is showing me this right now. That until we go from third de the, the third density to the fifth density, to we, until we move up in the dimension of existence, when we start moving into higher states of consciousness, we, an aspect of our consciousness will still remain in the very primal 3D force energy. Why? Because you are a channel. Because you are part of a much bigger picture. Because you may be experiencing something where you feel triggered or wounded and the inner child comes running out. But you've learned to alchemize this in the past. You've learned to ground yourself. You know how to deal with this. So spirit says, here you go. You're not your mind. You're not your body. There are sacred color energies that we can arise within us that arise as consciousness. We won't go too deeply into that. But the bottom line is this. You can have an experience in your life. You can feel like you're some spiritual yogi and guru. Why am I feeling this? You know why? Because you're connected to a greater energy that you are meant to experience that. And you say grateful for this again, because you are meant there's someone in your life that you're going to be able to share your experience, strength and hope with and what it is you're going through. That's going to assist someone else. Again, to think yourself so powerful or that you're beyond all this 3d stuff is a fool's errand, probably bring you more suffering at that point. You know, I mean, realistically, no, you're a beautiful angelic channel, an energy that is in physical form here to experience and here to offer experiences for others as well. Look, your energy is complementary to all the other energies around you. So when you feel you've fallen back into 3D, just have gratitude and say, thank you, Spirit, for keeping me in this dimension of existence at this, that I may be of service to myself and others. It may not be about the inner healing work that you're doing. You may very well have already cleared that, dealt with that, canceled and released that. Yet it's coming back up again because spirit knows that you're going to meet so-and-so at this point in time. And so we want you to deal with this right now so that you could help shift the vibration of someone else. Yeah, it's all divine. Everything is divinely guided. And um, 
I do, you know, like what I, especially at the beginning of my journey, and I almost do little science experiments with my energetic frequency. So I'd get myself really centered if I was struggling with something and I would totally detach from any type of expectation from that, you know, any outcome. And as soon as you detach and pull within and channel from source instead of off other people, you'd be amazed at what you can create in your life. You would be amazed. I, I dare any one of you to try this next time you're struggling with another human or a job thing or anything detach from an expectation because expectation is coming from a place of lack. It's coming from a place of future. It's not surrendering and trusting the universe because you're expecting something to happen and you're saying, I don't trust you universe. I'm going to force this and try to create this myself. Set your intention, detach, detach from it. Absolutely. Beautifully said. Beautifully said. The I versus the I. I being your true form and the divinity, your being of light. You're not, you're not anything else. And then there's your human experience and your identity and the comparisons that keep coming in. All these energy tethers that you're speaking about. So true. Separate that. Fall into your heart space. Alchemize it. Um, I also heard some beautiful things in a recovery meeting the other day. This gentleman said, he said, I have no opinion today. I choose to not have an opinion. For when I do not have an opinion, I feel I do. I never need to defend it, right? So we lack of needing validation or anything else or defending a point. We simply become, again, the observer where we're not attached to the outcome and we just simply fall into that portal of neutrality. Wu Wei, effortless effort. The Tao Wu Wei, Wu Wei. Yes, go Dao with the flow. Wu Wei. When you feel like you're swimming upstream, this is where you need to recenter. Our world teaches us that we need to force things. We need to all be these manifestors who have to go out and like run after stuff. And <sighs> certain energy types that works. But I know for me, I have to sit back and allow things to come to me. We, as we open our hearts and take down those walls around our heart, we can, we become magnets. And our auric field, our Taurus field becomes larger and it begins to attract things and opportunities and miracles and people to us that are meant to come. When we fight it, we mm. block ourselves from receiving it. Oh my God, there was a power, that was a powerful, oh, there's a ton of frequency that just came through for there. Woo! Two, two thoughts, you know, water spirit. We can focus on a stagnant pond of water where, there's, where it's becoming septic. This is false consciousness. This is where your negative focus is. Or you could crest a broader net and know that all water spirit across the cosmos is connected at all times as all things are. So if you choose to, to visualize or connect with the energy of the ocean where it's much more free and moving, now that's beautiful. And even if you looked at the stagnant pond, that is not the truth. Energy will always, it's moving as it is. It looks like it's not doing anything. It's stagnated. No. It is evaporating. It is evaporating. It is vibrating. It is alchemizing. Even that is false consciousness. Stop looking at things in your life on a surface level and seeing nothing but, but, but problems. See possibility and allow divine time and, a, and, a, and the occur accordance with the energy that is, is at play around you and allow exactly um i so i pulled a couple cards just to just to take us out um so what came out of this deck this is a beautiful deck it's ask your guides by sonia choquette i love these cards they're beautiful <laughs> they're simple they're awesome so the first card that came out was rest so this is imperative mm -hmm. for all of us especially people well everybody's transmuting energy right now whether they know it or not because we are on a daily basis some of us are transmuting more than others, but it doesn't matter because we all, what we're transmuting is what we can for our system. So rest, if your body's tired, rest, take a nap, sleep at night, you know, don't, it's okay to stop. Don't it's okay to stop. Exactly. <laughs> the second card that came up was victory. So if we rest and we allow things, we will come to our victory. It's beautiful. And see, there's people sitting in a circle, um, Beauty October 18th, October 18th, that represents what we are doing on October 18th, my sisters and brothers. Get as many blue and green crystals or whatever feels natural to you around you to alchemize and really move some energy from low frequency and vibration. We're all getting together and we're all going to do a soul tribes and connect energetically and we're going to move a bunch of energy from Mother Earth on October 18th. This is important. 
And I love the rest card came out because we are getting a ton of, and we're going through initiation. Everyone, like so many souls, those that are, are consciously living to heal right now are feeling a lot of ascension symptoms. And we're getting psychic upgrades, which is very, it's, it's, it's our physical body must come up in vibration. And then our mental body, emotional body, etheric body, and energy body all shift. So it can be very, it can be exhausting on the physical. As your light body activates within yourself, it's it's it, so drink a lot of water. Be gentle. Get your rest. Honor your body. Sun. Listen to the mention. You can get sun. Get sun because it takes our physical body weeks to catch up with our energetic body in the in the process of shifting. And so that's why we feel the ascension symptoms. And you know, it it, it takes probably about a good four weeks for our physicalness. Like our energy body will like go up and down through the day all the time. But as we like ascend, if you have like that huge jump in timelines. It can take our physical body, you know, a month to catch up. So it's it's big work. It's big work. It's like you're growing a whole new being when you're doing it. Your your cells are all yeah. shifting. Everything's shifting in you. So just be conscious of that. Ground in this energy right now. Like Jeremy said, get some stones. You know, we talked about the blue and the green. Um, I we truly think they relate to the blue and the green rays too, which is the blue ray is the divine will. So aligning our will with the collective will, with God's will, with universe, source, um, creator's will. And that's, that's everything in life. We need to align with that. Our, we think our will's right. That's our ego will. We need to align our soul will with that of the higher, the higher power. And then green is all about healing. It's the heart centered feeling. It's the alchemy. Oh, yes. So beautiful. So beautiful. And I want to say this too, for those of you that are very unblocked at this stage on your journey, that you, because you're so clear cognizant, clairvoyant, that you have this future knowingness, uh, you can see into different timelines and possible free will scenarios. You may be very well feeling the energy already, having a ton of increased psychic gifts that you're, look at that, side of synchronicity, increased psychic gifts that you're already aware of. Because even though there's going to be a huge shift as of October 18th, when we're holding this space and clearing and alchemizing the energy for Mother Earth, we're doing this for her behalf. And, and, and that you could be feeling this already again, like I would always get visions of two to five days before something would happen in my life. I would already see that happening. That happened a ton, especially last year. I was getting a ton of that inner knowingness happening. And now I feel it's like when we go into a full moon energy, you know, the energy of a new moon or full moon, two days in the day out and two days out. But on a collective average, people could say that going in a week going in and a week coming out of the full moon energy, there could be energy being moved depending on you. So, so do not be surprised if you're already feeling this beautiful energy surge from the 18th, which is coming up, which is going to be most incredibly powerful on the 18th it is a huge day to meditate because galactic ancestors will be pumping and central sun will be moving a ton of frequencies into the earth plane on this day they're very clear about this so when you do your energy work and you alchemize that from mother earth what about the law of compensation the universe is going to bless you even further so please join me my sister my brothers to alchemize, hold space, and transmute, and move lower frequency and vibration off the earth plane for Mother Earth. Love it. Thank you so much. I got to run. I got to go feed my little ones. Get yes, some food. okay. Thank you all for tuning in. We love you so much, and I'm sure we'll do another live very soon. I love working yes. with you, Jeremy. Thank you for shining yes. your light. So much love to you. Please share this video, guys. Please Bye. share this with the collectives. Ciao, ciao.